Thursday marks the second anniversary of the Virginia Tech shootings that ended with the deaths of 33 people. One professor believes that massacre could have been prevented. CBS Evening News anchor Katie Couric has this Sunday Journal. This is a tragedy that's about a failure of imagination. I mean, in many ways, people couldn't imagine something really terrible happening on a campus as beautiful and pristine and picturesque as ours. Virginia Tech is a university of about 30,000 students in the hills of Blacksburg in southwest Virginia. As quiet and peaceful a place as you can imagine until April 16, 2007. The day the normal soundtrack of a college campus was shattered by the sound of gunfire. 27 students and five faculty members were killed before the shooter killed himself. How did you discover it was Sung Wee Cho who was responsible? Well, in fact, I didn't discover that until the next morning because his identity was not revealed. I'm not sure if there'll ever be a way to describe what that's like. The world saw Sung Wee Cho for the first time in the haunting photos and video released after the massacre. But for Lucinda Roy, his was a familiar face, a face she describes in a new book, a book that argues that Cho's cries for help went mostly unheard. In the fall of 2005, as chair of the university's English department, Roy says she was alerted to Cho's unusual behavior and disturbing writings by a colleague. She'd had a poem submitted to class that uh, he'd read out loud, and it seemed to her to be very disturbing. It seemed to be an attack against the class. Classmates and teachers said they were afraid of him. With no other option, Roy decided to tutor Cho privately. You write that if I were to paint a portrait of Sung Wee Cho as he sits opposite me, it would be not so much a portrait as a still life. If someone is totally blank, and he was wearing reflective sunglasses too, and he had a cap pulled down low over his head, it was almost like speaking to a wall. It's very, very difficult. And when he would respond, he would respond like this. In your view, this was a very serious situation. Yeah, there are t a few times when you get nervous enough that you want to make sure you're really contacting multiple people, and this seemed to me to be one of those times. The multiple people she contacted worked in four different departments at Virginia Tech, including the Counseling Center and the University Police. Roy knew Cho needed help. The problem, she says, was getting it because Cho couldn't be forced into treatment. Why were school officials so afraid of actually requiring counseling? I think that people at universities are very afraid of being sued. They feel that it's less risky it's just to leave things alone. Even when students do seem to behave very threateningly, if they don't actually say, I'm about to kill you, or I'm going to bring a gun to school next week, it can be very difficult to do anything. Just weeks later, Cho threatened to kill himself. This time, he was required to get a psychiatric assessment at an off-campus facility. He stayed overnight and was released the following day. During that same period, Cho also tried to get help on campus, even requesting to see a mental health counselor Professor Roy had recommended. I learned that he had gone over repeatedly, not just once, but was never really examined. How can that be? How can a student go to mental health counseling, request a particular therapist, and never be seen by anyone? Uh, we have a counseling service that is actually in many ways very good, very hard working. At the time, we had 2,750 students for every counselor. It's possible, I suppose, that things can fall through the cracks. Virginia Tech's Vice President of Student Affairs, Ed Spencer, denies that Lucinda Roy ever communicated that the situation she saw was dire. She indicated that she had worked out a satisfactory arrangement with him and didn't feel a need for any further involvement, and she thanked the various offices for the involvement they had. If I'd only just met with him very quietly and hadn't been campaigning for the entire year, I would say that that interpretation was possible. The fall semester of 2005 came to a close, and Lucinda Roy never saw Sung Wee Cho again.
After the massacre, still more details emerged about the troubled life of Sung Wee Cho. He had a long history of mental illness, beginning in middle school. Federal privacy laws prevented university officials from knowing that. Nor did they know that, in high school, Cho wrote that he wanted to repeat the slaughter at Columbine. Cho's parents had been involved in his treatment during those years, but they were never told about the problems their son was having in college. School officials say that's because he was over 21, but that's not the way Lucinda Roy says she understood it. At that time, the Virginia Tech policy was very clear that you were not meant to notify parents, that in fact, if you did so, you were violating Virginia Tech protocol. I think it's incumbent upon the college community to establish methods and procedures and policy where they respond, react, inform parents um, about student behavior. Lori Haas's daughter Emily was wounded by two of Cho's bullets. Today, Emily's back in school and graduates in December. Nobody raised a red flag. Nobody. Joe Samaha's 18-year-old daughter, Rima, was in the same French class and was killed. If everybody did their job the way they were supposed to, I'm convinced that 33 lives would be with us today. A special state panel convened after the shootings concluded the school had misinterpreted privacy laws and it failed to connect the dots. Two, one. Since the shootings, Virginia Tech has made changes, including improved counseling services and the startup of a risk assessment team to handle troubled students. Still, as spring blooms in Blacksburg, once again, memories surface of that terrifying April day, a day that continues to haunt Lucinda Roy. You get very, very few opportunities to help someone who's mentally disturbed, very few. And when you get them, you must take them.